It is my great honor to use the Stanley Plotkin gavel to open this meeting. It's our good friend and colleague, Dr. Stan Plotkin. Dr. Plotkin, virtually every country in the world is affected by his vaccines. He developed the standard textbook for vaccines in 1988. Bill Gates calls his book a Bible for vaccinologists. I hope you all have uh, indeed have read the book. This is an excerpt from the IOM's report, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Can you read the causality conclusion with regard to whether DTaP and Tdap cause autism? The evidence is inadequate to accept or reject a causal relationship between diphtheria toxoid, tetanus toxoid, or acellular pertussis containing vaccine and autism. So the IOM reviewed the available evidence with regard to whether Tdap or DTaP can cause autism, and their conclusion was the evidence doesn't exist to show whether DTAP or TDAP do or do not cause autism, correct? Yes. If you don't know whether DTAP or TDAP cause autism, shouldn't you wait until you do know, until you have the science to support it, to then say that vaccines do not cause autism? Do I wait? No, I do not wait because I have to take into account the health of the child. And, and so for that reason, you're okay with telling the parent that DTAP, Tdap does not cause autism even though the science isn't there yet to support that claim? Absolutely.